This is Chris with MyCricketForum.com. This is our third and last video in our flashing tutorial. We're fully flashing a Sprint HTC Evo 4G to Cricket, Talk Text, MMS, Internet. As you can see, the Evo still has the Sprint PRL on it. So if you dog customer service, you'd go to Sprint at this point. I'm dialing pound pound 3424. So I can open up the DM command service. As you can see, it's installing on my computer. You're probably going to have to manually install these drivers when you do it. I've just had so many EVOs on my computer that it knows the location for these files. Going in my device manager here. Going to see exactly uh, what was installed, what port they put it on by default. This is just showing you how to uh, install the drivers manually. It's not so important that I have ADB right now, but this is how you would install drivers. The ADB drivers come in the Windows uh, SDK. For Android. You should start install this HTC diagnostic interface. Uh, it defaulted to COM 12 or 13 here. I can't really see it. I'm doing a voiceover after I've already done the recording. I'm changing the port because every device you put in your computer will try to install on a new port. I only have one phone plugged in at a time, so the port that I use always is COM15. So I've unplugged it, plugged it back in after the COM port change, just to make sure it's going to work properly. Now I'm opening up CDMA uh, Workshop. I'm going to connect to COM port 15 because that's what it was installed on. Hit connect. Now I'm going over the security. I'm using default NV read and then hit the read button. I've gotten the number and now I'm sending it back to the phone. And that will unlock the phone and allow me to zero it out. So now the SBC is 0000000, zero, 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 zero. too easy to remember. You don't need to reset the mode after doing that. Now I'm going into service programming for QBST. I'm showing you the QBST configuration. This is what you'll need to do initially. I'll delete that port off so it'll be like you have it probably with no ports. I'm installing the COM port or enabling that port, and then it'll pop up in the QBST service programming. Definitely go to our forum and check out the step by step. I should have done this a little bit slower, sorry about that. Here's where your phone number number goes. Your phone number is your directory number, and you need to enter this one first and then the MIN or else it'll, it'll mess up the settings. The MIN was the second number I entered there. I went to the Rome tab and I picked the PRL that I want. Go to the MIP menu. Simple IP only for the Evo. I'm putting at mycricket.com at the end of the telephone number, copying that, pasting it there, entering cricket there, cricket again, zeroing out these numbers, 
hitting OK. I do it for the second profile as well because that's the actual one that was enabled by default. Zeroing it out. You'll see active users one, so it should be going off this the second profile that I inputted. Going to the UM tab, pasting phone number at mycricket.com, required password, cricket, check both of those, replacing this with that also on the and tab. And then when you're done with that, all you have to do is write it to the phone. It'll reboot the phone. Upon reboot, we'll see, you might get that error, it doesn't matter. But upon reboot, you should have talk, text, and internet if you're on the $55 plan. And that's if the phone has already been uh, put on your account. You can see me going into the Cricket CID and making sure it's already placed on this person's account. If you need us to change your plan, just use the Contact Us form on the forum. We do offer this service for free to make sure that you're on the correct plan. Our premium members get free ESN changes. Along with a bigger signature block and there's some other perks to it. I believe at this point I install APN Backup Restore. That's kind of what's needed to get the MMS working on this phone. You can download this from the market if you get your phone on Wi-Fi or you can download it from our, for or our thread, place it on your SD card and install it using Astro File Manager or something like that. So now we have it on our phone. I'm going to delete all the APNs. And then I'm going to restore the one that we uh, had configured earlier. Actually, in part one, I believe, we configured this APN. The APN is attached also on that forum thread. And actually, I remember having problems with the MMS on this phone. Um, we didn't use the right APN. So you'll see me go back and edit the APN again. Don't worry, on the form it has the correct APN. All we have to do is change your phone number around and it'll, it'll work. This phone is on the $55 uh, Android plan. So the internet's going to work immediately. Well, it was supposed to work immediately. I believe I had to reconfigure it and you'll see that at the end of the video. Actually, I remember Cricket was being kind of weird, and I couldn't change this over to the $55 plan. So the video winds up showing it being put on the $45 plan. I have two monitors on this computer, so what you can't see on the 
other monitor. I'm going to one of our other uh, threads and trying to remember how to configure U2NL and auto start so that we can surf through the proxy and keep it on the $45 plan.